Here in this video we're going to look at marginal and average cost. In this first example it says suppose that the cost function of a commodity is C of X is equal to 300 plus 6X plus 1 over 20 X squared. The first question is what is the actual cost of producing the ninth unit and the second question is what is the marginal cost of producing the ninth unit. Now in part A when they're asking about actual cost we're going to use the original cost function. So here in A we need to use C of X as equal to 300 plus 6X plus 1 over 20 X squared and then we're going to evaluate it at 9 to find the total cost of producing 9 units. So that's C of 9. And then what we're going to do is subtract out the cost of 8 units. So the cost of 8 units. So this is the actual cost of producing 9 units, C of 9. And then the actual cost of producing 8 units. And when we do that, we get 358.8. Zero 05 for C of 9 minus C of 8, which is 351.20. So the actual cost of producing the ninth item is $6.85. And this is actual cost of the ninth unit. Now when they ask for the marginal cost of producing the ninth unit, that's when we're going to take the derivative. So here in part B, we want to take the derivative of the cost function. So C prime of X is equal to 6 plus 1 over 10 X. And now when we want the marginal cost of the ninth unit, we're going to plug 8 into the derivative. So C prime of 8 is equal to 6 plus 1 over 10 times 8, which is equal to $6.80. And this is the marginal cost of the ninth unit. And you can see that they're close. Just remember that in part A we found the actual cost. So this is an exact value. And when we're using marginal, this is a predicted cost. So we're predicting that it's going to be $6.80 to make that ninth unit, when in reality it was $6.85. But they should be relatively close. So that's marginal cost. And now we want to take a look at average cost. So in this one we have a cost of a certain commodity is given by C of X is equal to 0.1 X cubed minus 1.5 X squared plus 9 X plus 15. And in part A we want to find the average cost. So the average cost, remember that, and it's represented by C bar of X is equal to C of X divided by X. So we're going to take our cost function and divide it by every term by X. So what we end up with is 0.1 X squared minus 1.5 X plus 9 plus 15 over X. And now in part B it says find the marginal average cost. So that means we're going to take the derivative of the cost function. So part B, we want to find C bar prime of X, which is equal to 0.2 X minus 1.5 minus 15 over X squared. And for this last term, remember that you can think of this term here, this last term, as 15x to the negative 1 to help you use the power rule. So we multiplied down the negative 1, giving us the negative 15, and then x to the negative 2, and negative 2 in the numerator goes in the denominator as positive. 
Part C is what is the average cost of 10 units? So we want to take our average cost function and put 10 in. So part C, we're going to have 0.1 times 10 squared minus 1.5 times 10 plus 9 plus 15 divided by 10, which is equal to $5.50. So if we produce 10 of this commodity, the average cost of each unit would be $5.50. Now it says, what is the marginal average cost when x is equal to 10? So here we want to take our marginal cost function and input 10. So here, this was C bar of 10 is equal to, and in D, we want C bar prime of 10, which is equal to 0.2 times 10 minus 1.5 minus 15 over 10 squared. And when we calculate that, we get 35 cents. Cool, too.